So now I'm going to show you how to tap the races in. You always want to put new ones in because they were definitely and you it probably go, it, you're probably going to have problems if you use the old races and put new barrels in because they they have worn the way the barrels have worn and this, the others are new. So the right way you will put the races in is like this like this they sound nice and smooth look here is the co your chronic wheel bearing you're going to put it in like this not like this the wheel bearing won't fit like this so just test fit if this is how it's correctly put it in remove your wheel bearing and now tap it in and also put it a little bit Now what you will do is take your biggest socket, biggest socket you can forget, or one the empty body, and put it like this. Hold it with one hand and from the other strike it, and then do this, from he or this, from here to here, from here to here. You know, put it here, hit it, put it here, hit it, put it here, hit it, put it here, hit it. I will show you later. So that's what I will do. Take my hammer, hit it. So put it here. Put it here. Hit it. It's slowly, go it's slowly going down. You will hear it when it's bottoms out. For some reason, like this. And was. Slowly goes in. Oh, oh. I think it went in. Let's check it. Now it's in, as you can see. You turn it from here and you want to there to be no gap. As you can see, there is no gap between the metal part of the disc and of the ring. I will give it a few taps just to be sure, but I think it's, they're not needed. You don't use a screwdriver for, no, for this part. I wouldn't suggest it. I don't know if it works or if it damages, it damage it, but I wouldn't suggest it. The ideal thing you can do is on... The ideal thing you can do is an, uh, a wheel bearing uh, tool, but I don't have it, and a lot of you don't have it, so I show you the other way, which works just fine. These are hardened; they can't, they can't get damaged, as you can see. They're nice and smooth. Wait, I will focus. So you look; they're nice and smooth. No gouges or something like this. Only dirt, a little bit. Wait. They're just really nice. Well, let's move to the other side. Turn it off. Over. Get it. Here you can see there's the conical part. This is the flat part. You want to put it like this, not like this because it won't work. Here is the ridge. Wait, I want it a little bit higher so you can see what I'm doing. Yes, here. That's perfect. Now, do exactly the same. Tap it. If you ask me, the plastic part is the toughest part because it always want to go out, it's not like this. I'm not using a little force. 
Oh, you click it. It went uh, in a little bit uh, wrong, so I had to adjust it. You can see how nice it goes in. Here you can see this ridge you want it to get until here down. So you use again your socket if you have a bigger one that would be perfect. Or if you get a wheel bearing kit, uh, don't litter. So now I'm going to use this little guy. It here and I will use it. Here, then, here, then, here, then here again, then here, then here. So the same goes for this bearing too. Pack it up until it screws um, up from the other side and then you're ready to install it. After preparing all the other parts, I will show you. So, <clears throat> now we are going to do the worst part of all, which is um, basically installing the bearing and greasing everything up. It's very easy. This plastic thing. No, it involves a lot of hitting and force because it, you're pushing it in from one side, trying to hit it in from the other, or press it in manually, then it comes out from the other side. You will see, it's not that fun, but it can be done. That's probably the most difficult of this job, if you ask me. Everything else is, uh, needs a little bit of passion, but isn't that difficult. So, uh, now you will take your grease, grease everything here nice up, fill the recess here, recess here with grease, fill it all up, put them in the, and then put the other bearing in, nothing else. But first of all, you will do this one, or I will do, it doesn't matter where you start, but this is easier because the other will fall out, this one will be kept in by the plastic part. So, now... Grease it in. Grease it. Nice and greasy. Yes, I know it's. And this is why you want to wear gloves. Because this is very messy. And the old grease here. Here is your packed bearing. It's packed. I have done the video of it. Go and watch it. So put it in the link down below, take all the S squeeze and put it here in. You want to grease it up very very good or the bearings won't last a long time. A long time. So, so, This is unluckiness, uh, uh, not fell and uh, hmm. okay. So, what you want to do? Here is your old ink. It's actually looking like a, a very small rear main seal. Mm, cute rear main seal. But what you want to do? You install it this way, not this way. This way. As it is, go in and shred it and seal everything perfectly up. Now, what you want to do, grease everything up. I have grease on my hands. Grease everything up. Nice and greasy. Push it in. As you can see, it tries to go out. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
for some reason I'm saying Jesus Christ very often. I don't know why. And take. That doesn't matter. So, here is where the camera, camera comes in place. This is how I got the other one in two. Press it as long as you want. It won't come in, go in. It's rubber, it can't take damage. You just don't. Oh, that was good. I don't like this. This is why I said, this is why I said it's the worst part because you push it in once and it comes out here. Just hit it. You don't need that much forge, just use as much as you think that you need. Just try with just a little bit and if you think you need more time or if it doesn't help, we we'll use even more. I don't know how the heck this happened, happened, but however it happened, it's not good. Yes, I, at least I'm able to. Yay, I got it out. Now I can redo it. So, as we said, you push it in. using the weight of my body but that doesn't really help because I'm not heavy so so I will be or luckily don't try to hit it in I think that the, the thing you have to do is look hold it from one here flash and hit it here slowly until it goes in Yes, like this. Now it goes in. Or not. Th this stupid thing still happens for some reason. So now I was able to get this in uh, with a combination of my hand and my hammer. And now we will. Uh, and I also stuffed it with a lot of grease. If you want to use a lot of grease, wait, I will. If, if you don't use a lot of grease, it would cause a lot of damage. Sorry, I'm a passionate memer. I had to say it. And I, the, the grease I'm using is a waterproof one, which means that it even works under water. So, sorry again for the flex coat, how you call it. Now, you take your other bearing, stuff it. Stuff this little guy with grease. Here's your wheel bearing. I'm holding it wrong, of course. Put it like this. Take a little bit of grease. Fill it up. Press it in. It should be filled. Put the put a little of grease, a little bit of grease on the inside here too. 
too much ingredients can't really hurt except if you really overdo it and now you will take your washer here is my washer if you go, don't use it that would cause a lot of damage grease it up also a little bit so it reduces uh, wear and tear you you use all you don't have to replace it just keep an eye on it so you don't lose it put it on and now it's re ready for installation I will show you how to and then you will be able to fully replace uh, your wheel bearings and everything else by your own. I will also show you the torque spec of this nut.